Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting radical equation. We have square root of 4 minus x equals 4 minus x squared. And we're supposed to solve for x values. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem in two ways. And let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and just do what we should normally do, right? which is getting rid of the radical by squaring both sides. Of course, what else can you do, right? All right, wait for the second method. Now, once you square both sides, the radical disappears. We end up with 4 minus x. On the right-hand side, we get 16 plus x to the fourth minus 8x squared. And guess what? This becomes a quartic fourth power. Let's put everything on the same side x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus x plus 16 minus 4, that is a plus 12 equals 0. Awesome. Do you like that? Probably not. But <laughs> there is a worse case scenario when we have x cubed. But this one is missing x cubed. You know why? I mean, you know why, but why is it important? Because this is that depressed cortic, which is a good one. Now we can go ahead and try a couple different things. One, factoring. You can assume that, okay, this will be factored into two quadratics. That looks like this, x squared plus ax plus b. And write the second factor so that x cubed disappears. And that can be done by using minus ax because if you distribute, x cubed cancels out. Where does x cubed come from? Think about it. And the constant term can be a c, but you want to reduce the number of variables. Okay, as little as possible. So, b is a constant, 12 is a constant. b is going to be multiplied by something to get 12. In other words, b times 1 equals 12. And I know that kind of sounds weird, right? But the answer is 12 over b. Because if you multiply b and 12 over b, you get 12. It's that simple. See? Now, this is supposed to equal 0. So if you can find the values of a and b, then you get the factor, and from there you can just solve the quadratics. Easy, right? But how do you find the values of a and b? Well, there's only two variables. Come on, that shouldn't be too hard. But here's what we can, we can do. We can distribute this completely and set it equal to that. So let's do it. Okay. We get x to the fourth power minus ax cubed. I'm still going to write it down so you can see that it cancels out. Exactly. So I'm done with the x squared. And they just distribute the a, a, a x, okay, minus a squared x squared plus 12 a over b x, because that's the coefficient of x here, right? And then what am I going to do? Distribute to b, b x squared minus a b x, and finally plus 12. Yay, that's our constant. They should agree, right? Let's go ahead and rearrange the terms. x cubed is going to cancel out for sure. And what's the coefficient of x squared? Good question. I would say 12 over b minus a squared plus b. Just going from left to right. That's the coefficient of x squared. And then we have x, two terms with x. So the coefficient of x is 12 a over b minus a b. That is the coefficient of x. And finally, the constant is 12. That doesn't change. That's what constant means, right? doesn't vary, like variables. Great. We should set this equal to x to the fourth plus minus, I mean, 8x squared plus x plus 12. What does that mean? If these two things are equal for all values of x, it's an identity, right? So it means that the coefficient of x squared is negative 8. So 12 over b minus a squared plus b is equal to negative 8. The coefficient of x is 1, because it's 1. You, see, you can see that. 12a over b minus ab is equal to 1. And guess what? You got yourself a system. Happy solving. Okay, how do you solve it, though? That's complicated, isn't it? Well, one thing you could do is, from the second equation, you could probably solve for something. Let's go ahead and try this. Make a common denominator. And then factor out a, cross multiply, 
You see, step by step, we're getting there. And divide by 12 minus b squared. There you go. So this gives you a in terms of b. You could also try to isolate something else, but that would be harder. And if you took out a squared, that would be a little bit problematic. So the second one is better, I think. So this is something you can use in the first equation because it, this comes from the second, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in. 12 over b minus a squared, which is this, plus b is equal to negative 8. So great. Single variable, but very complicated, don't you think? Why? Because you're going to square b to the second, which is going to give you b to the fourth. Let's do it b squared divided by, if you square this difference, 144 plus b to the fourth minus 24b squared plus b is equal to negative 8. Now, you may want to put this uh, b on the other side so you don't have to do a lot of common denominator thing, but it's all going to come down to multiply by something, multiply by something to make a common denominator, which is going to give you b to the fifth power. Uh-oh, we ended up with a quintic. I don't know why. But this is very, very problematic. You know why? Because there is no quintic formula. So what should we do instead? I think we should do something else. So there, another method could be something like this. You could start with this. Was it like that? I think. Yeah. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. Now, put everything on the same side except for x to the fourth. So isolate x to the fourth, okay? So now we're gonna add something to both sides to make the left-hand side a perfect square, which at the same time should make the right-hand side a perfect square. What are you talking about? This is all gibberish, right? Sounds like it, but this is math. So here's what I'm gonna do. Hocus pocus, abracadabra. Are you ready for math and magic? Let's go. We're gonna be adding 2kx squared plus k squared. Why? And you can memorize it if you want because this turns it into x squared plus k quantity squared. But why did I add that kind of thing? Do, did we have to make it that way? Yes, because I kind of want to keep the left-hand side kind of quadratic-ish, and right-hand side will always be quadratic because I'm adding x squared. You get the idea? Okay, that's just a way to solve cortex. There's, I think, at least two methods. This is one of them, and I can't remember which one. Is this Descartes method or the other one? Anyways, so this is what it is. And the right-hand side, you have to add this. Oops. I don't know, sometimes it just goes crazy. I have to add this on the right-hand side, which is this one, right? So it's going to look like this. Plus 2kx squared plus k squared. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and rearrange the terms on the right-hand side a little bit. This is going to give us 8 plus 2kx squared. And now we have minus x plus k squared minus 12. Now, here's, here there are two things you can do. We always branch off. You can go ahead and think about it this way. This is a perfect square, so this should also be a perfect square. Because a perfect square can only equal a perfect square. Think about it. It has to be that way. You'll realize. So delta is 0 here. One solution. What is delta? b squared minus 4, uh-oh, not the same thing again, minus 4bc. b squared minus 4ac, sorry, 4ac. c is k squared minus 12. And you want it to be 0. Add this to both sides, isolate the 1, you're going to get uh, 32 plus 8k. I'm distributing the 4, by the way, times this equals 1. And then distribute it, 8k cubed. And then 32k squared, this, and then 96k, and finally, what am I getting? Okay, let me check. 32k squared, okay, minus 32 times 12. I think 32 times 6 is 192, so that would be 384. Oh, I should have known that. It's 18 squared. Anyways, and that's equal to 1, so it should, it's going to be like this. Okay, so far so good. It's a cubic, yay! But not much to celebrate because it's a bad cubic. 8k cube, you don't want that. You want to make it nicer. How? You can write it as 2k cubed. You can write it as 
8 times 2k quantity squared and you can make this 48 times 2k and this and then finally call this u or whatever you like you get this and if you can find a solution for u then you can use it okay so again this is complicated right but i'm going to leave it up to you to finish this problem off another way to do this is i want the right hand side to be a perfect square so can i make it a perfect square for example for k equals 4 we get 16. so k equals 4 might be a good choice we don't know yet Guar not guaranteed but let's plug it in if k is 4 you're gonna get another perfect square here, which is cool. So k equals four works, you know why? Let me erase this area, show you, and guess what? We're probably gonna get a long video from here, but I don't think you're worried about it, right? And I'm not worried about it either. I don't care because I wanna show you everything I can. It doesn't matter how long it takes, right? Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and do this then. What was I saying? I was, oops, I erased too much. Okay, bring it back, focus, focus. I only want to erase this part and not the whole thing, okay? Because I want delta equals zero visible. And probably a little bit more. Bear with me on this. And oops. Anyways, I think this is good enough. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Like I said, if k equals 4, we get a perfect square. That's perfect. So this becomes 16x squared. And then minus x plus uh, 16 minus 4, 12. I think... Wait a minute, is this a perfect square? I hope so. 4x minus 1. No, 4x minus 2. Uh-oh, that didn't work. So I probably messed up. Maybe k is something else. It could be something else. I don't know. Anyways, I'll continue with the second. I thought it was going to be easy. I was hopeful, but it just didn't work. Again, I'm missing something probably. But I'm missing a lot. Anyways, second method. I think you're going to like this, but let me know what you think. Okay. So, here's how it works. We have the four inside and outside, right? So why don't we call it something? And you might be like, what the heck are you doing? Why are we doing this? You'll see in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this A. This is something that we don't do very commonly because we do the opposite. But I'm gonna do that. Oops, there's no square there or square root. And then I'm gonna square both sides. But this time, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be parametric, yay. A minus X a squared plus x to the fourth minus 2ax squared. Now, you may want to do this. x to the fourth minus 2ax squared plus x plus a squared minus a equals zero. Good luck. <laughs> you ended up with a cortic that is even worse than the first cortic we found. That's not good. But guess what? There is a trick here. You know why? Because of the presence of a squared with a. Yes, this is cortic. But using a neat trick, you can make it quadratic. And this is a technique commonly used for competition level problems. This is one of them, okay? So here's how it goes. I take a, a squared, and then I take these two things and write it as minus 2x squared plus 1. That is the coefficient of a. You get that? Plus x to the fourth plus x equals 0. Wow! With a little bit of focus pocus, this turned into quadratic in a and let's just make it more obvious so we're gonna go ahead and write this as a squared here and a here okay great now let's go ahead and solve this with the quadratic formula negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac a is 1 i mean the coefficient of a squared is a in this case it's kind of weird but that's what it is Maybe use a different variable, not A. Maybe use T. Divide by 2. Okay? So this is delta. Let's go ahead and focus on delta first. If you square this and simplify, it's going to simplify a great deal. Look, 4x to the 4th plus 4x squared plus 4 minus 4x to the 4th minus 4x. Awesome. Now, these two will cancel out, leaving you with delta equals... 4x squared minus 4x. You know what? I, I don't know why I keep messing up here. This is 1. Okay, never mind. Okay, I got it. This time. Yay. 
2x minus 1 quantity squared and that's awesome because we do need a perfect square discriminant or delta so now we can go ahead and simplify this a equals 2x squared plus 1 plus minus the square root of oops plus minus isn't there plus minus the square root of something squared so i can just write it like this and divide by 2. let's split it up a can be written as 2x squared plus 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by 2. Once cancel, we get x squared plus x as one of the solutions. And I'll tell you what it means in a little bit. And the second one is 2x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus 1. And divided by 2, that simplifies to x squared minus x plus 1. So, you got the a values because a is it's quadratic in a, but quartic in x. How is that possible? They can coexist. They can happen at the same time you're going to see now because by setting a oops i even made a graph for you guys but i don't have any room from here we get a quadratic right but we know the value of a a is what a is four right because four is a a is four makes sense now replace a with four and when you do you get a quadratic solve it you'll get the solutions i'm going to leave it up to you the other equation is a equals x squared minus x plus 1. From here, you get x squared minus x plus 1 minus a, which is x squared minus x minus 3 because a is 4. So you get another quadratic. Solve these two quadratics. You'll get four solutions. Guess what? Are they all real? Let's find out with this beautiful graph. Ta-da! And as you can see, these two graphs only intersect at two points. Now, you might be questioning, like, wait a minute. Didn't we get two solu four solutions from here? Why do we have only two solutions on the graph? Should I leave it open to? Yes, let's leave it as an open question. But if you don't get it, ask questions and somebody will answer in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope, you, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. This is probably one of my longest videos, probably if you exclude lecture videos, but who cares? Until next time, bye-bye.